For the son of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. For the present time, we have a two of wands and the magician. So, it looks like the first half of April, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. The two of wands, it indicates a partnership with another person. This can be a business or it can be personal or both. It reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If things are out of balance, just know that they're about to get substantially better. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize of what you're looking for and stay positive so this two of wands it's paired with the magician the magician it signifies new beginnings and great expectations it reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in a lot of ways in our lives and in the world if we simply try this is actual transformation so just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate coming up in april but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself the magician is all about action so if you do nothing you'll get nothing and if you're not sure what to do in april just make sure you do something because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, if you don't make some attempts, you're not going to get anything. But you can have it all. You can have, you can have it all. So, for the present time, Two of Wands and Magician. It's about trying to stay balanced. Keeping your balance and you can do it. Because um, with the magician, it's about manifestation. You have the power to manifest. So it can happen, but you have to remember you got to get up every day and put forth the effort. So you need to stay balanced. That's what it's showing. And you can do it, because magician is all about action. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. If you don't know what to do, just remember, you got to do something. Just to keep your head on straight at this time. So, just give me, I just want to give a side note for um, some single Aquarius that are listening. If you are looking for a love or a relationship at this time, uh, the magician, let me tell you what that means for single people. This is a time when you could meet someone new. Right now, someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Whether you find them or not, it's going to depend on you. So... Well, it's, it's hard to say this, but um, if you're sitting at home expecting Mr. Or, Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Wright to walk up your garden path and knock on your door, that probably won't happen. So you'll need to be out making yourself available to be found. So even if you just go to the grocery store, and I know these days you got to put on a face mask, so that's probably not too attractive, so probably try online social media fix your fix your face make it real pretty take some pictures now's a really good time for single Aquarius because like I said with this magician showing up in your reading someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them so that's what we have for the present time now let's take a look at your person how they see you they see you as a sun and the seven of swords. Now this sun card, 
on, just to explain it, you're likely to have things going really well for you. Your finances, they'll be in good shape. Now, that doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is probably not very high on the list for some Aquarius. This is a good time to socialize. And socializing can be, like I said, it could be just online. All right, because I know a lot of us are quarantined. Um, meet new people. Could be online, too. And um, if you're looking for a new job, it's saying this card is this card is saying it's it's right around the corner. Um, yep, yeah, people are getting jobs uh, these days, but it's in a different way. It's not like how it was before the virus. So that's just a side note for this um, for people looking for work. Um, that's how your person is seeing you. They see you as the sun card. They see you as they're bright and happy. You add sunshine to their life, Aquarius. Yeah, you add sunshine to their life. Uh, they also see you as a seven of swords. Now, the seven of swords is a very interesting card. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare from this window. But it points to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you're probably right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the impulse because everyone deserves privacy. So it's about trust being crucial. Probably being suspicious for some reason about your partner. So it's about talking about it, even if it's difficult. Because if you're passive aggressive, it's only going to make things worse. And that's how they see you also, like the Seven of Swords. They see you as probably having some trust issues in this connection. But since this Seven of Swords is with the Sun card, they see you as trying. You're trying. At first I said you are their sunshine. You add sunshine to their life, but I just realized it's with the Seven of Swords. So they see you as trying to be their sunshine. But it's kind of difficult for you because you got some trust issues, and you put you might, they see you as possibly do, doing things that um, are sneaky, like um, spying on them, or maybe using strategy, manipulation, tactics. They see you as possibly sometimes playing games in this connection so they see you with some trust issues but you're trying to be there they're happy you're trying to add sunshine to their life but you got trust issues let's take a look at how you see them now you see them as temperance and you also see them as this four of pinnacles so temperance is showing that your relationships, they're going quite well, but you may need to look at any deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. The ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in your life and in yourself and in your relationships and your goals and aspirations so it's it's about finding balance and this is how you see your person it's interesting they see you yeah well we talked about how they see you but they see you as um maybe having some personal issues and you need to balance them out 
Now it's with this Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is an interesting card also. Uh, you see this man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands and his feet on his money. Pentacles stands for money, cash coins, and his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head, and his brain looks like it's about to explode. So Four of Pentacles is about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than is healthy or realistic. It's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it's about anxiety, it's about fear or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. And the key to this is to realize that being anxious and grasping it will not bring security. It will not. So you see them as needing to find balance in this connection and you see them as probably having some personal issues. Uh, they need to try to find a peace of mind yeah because they're clinging in an unhealthy way to you this connection or to something but they're re they could also be resistant to change and it's causing some imbalance and it's making you think they've got some personal issues so they're doing something, some unhealthy clinging. They're very resistant to something that's unhealthy for them. They're resistant to some type of change. And it's causing some imbalance. And like I said, it's making you look at them like, oh, do you have some issues, some personal issues? Mm -hmm. Now, that's how you see them. Let's take a look at why it's happening. It's happening due to the Nine of Wands and the King of Cups. Now, the Nine of Wands can indicate anxiety and worry, being burdened and keyed up over concerns. The first and the best step is to probably just try to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things overwhelm you or don't let things you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can, because some of the worries, they'll actually turn out to be imaginary. If you can see this picture of the card above why it's happening, this man, he's got all these wands surrounding him and he's battling with a wand in his hand and there's really no one around the battle no one at all so at least some of your worries they'll turn out to be imaginary so get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening that's what you might want to ask yourself comfort yourself and if you need help don't hesitate to ask for it Asking for help is the mark of a strong person. Now, this is one of the reasons why it's happening, due to the Nine of Wands. And the other reason is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is about a balanced male and feminine energy. It holds positive, all the positive qualities of masculine and feminine. Often, it indicates a man in your life. Usually, this man is very loving, kind, very supportive. And just know, when you get the King of Cups and you're reading, that you're supported by the universe in ways that you can see and ways that you cannot see. Ways that are seen and unseen. You're supported by the universe. 
Like I said, it's about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. So this is another reason why it's happening. Like I said, due to the Nine of Wands and King of Cups. You or your person, Aquarius, is stressed out. Got a lot of anxiety and worry. Yeah, there could... Um, Yeah, there's a lot of worry and stressful, a lot of worry and stress in this connection. Like I said, it's either you, Aquarius, or your person. And because it's with this King of Cups, you or your person is trying to be warm, friendly, and tolerant about the stress that's in the connection. And they want to offer kindness, compassion. They want to offer love because the King of Cups is, it's about uh, news, very good news coming to you. And it's usually with matters of the heart. Yeah. If you're single and you get the King of Cups, uh, it indicates that someone who's very balanced and loving, they're coming your way very soon. So you or your person, they're, they're trying to offer love, compassion, kindness. But then we've got someone who's really stressed out about this connection. Very worried with a lot of anxiety and it's probably just something that needs to be picked apart or talked about because like I said it looks like a lot of things are in, just in your head and I'm picking up that it's probably who's ever doing the stalking that we talked about for how they see you yeah because someone has trust issues someone has trust issues when we talked about the seven of swords and then we got this other person, you or your person. Um, it says how you see them. Uh, you see them as clinging in an unhealthy way. So, like I said, why it's happening, there's some anxiety here. There's stalking, there's unhealthy clinging. And, um, but someone wants to... Uh, Try to make it right by being warm, friendly, and tolerant with the King of Cups showing up in your reading. And uh, someone just wants to bring pure and true love and fix whatever is causing this worry, stress, unhealthy clinging, and spying and stalking. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. You, Aquarius. You, Aquarius. 